Honor announced a trio of new phones in the Honor 20 series and this is the review of the middle variant, the Honor 20. This is Sandeep from Rev Atlas and let's get started. The Honor 20 features a design language that builds on from the trends set forward by the View 20. The punch hole display and dual glass all resonate the same feeling but of course like the View 10 and Honor 10 respectively, the View 20 is bigger than the Honor 20. The Honor 20 is more in line with what you would consider an easy to handle smartphone thanks to its size. Despite its dual glass finish, it isn't too slippery as the back provides good grip and is easy to hold and fit in your hands despite managing to pack in a large 6.26 inch display. Speaking of displays, the Honor 20 has a 1080p plus IPS panel with 19.5 as 9 aspect ratio. The panel is good in terms of color reproduction and sharpness, but outdoors especially under direct sunlight you'll need to squint to see the details properly as the brightness seems insufficient. Slowly made worse by the reflective glass. The camera cutout can be hidden from the settings if you don't like it but it's less intrusive than a regular notch and there's so many wallpapers out there that actually hero the cutout so I'm guessing that most of you would prefer to let it be seen. The widewind support is L3 so you can't do SD streaming of content on Netflix or Prime for example. The fingerprint scanner is mounted on the right side within the power button. As a result, the power button is more elongated and the entire key is recessed into the casing which also makes it easier to locate without looking. Initially, I was skeptical on how it would work considering it was long and thin and not really the ideal shape to register a fingerprint. But I was surprised as it is extremely fast and accurate and much better than most of our in-display fingerprint scanners since this is still a physical one. It also works regardless of whether you're holding it on hand or even on a table since the side is always accessible no matter what way you place the phone. It also works in 360 degrees. The face unlock feature is also good and quick and makes use of the front facing camera. The device is powered by a Kirin 980 Octa-Core chipset which is the flagship chip in the Huawei and Honor lineup right now. Performance is great and the multitasking is good thanks to solid RAM management from EMUI. Gaming is also good but Qualcomm powered phones do perform a tad bit better in this respect. Phones come with Android 9 Pi out of the box and EMUI 9 as well and while there was a brief period where future seemed uncertain on Huawei devices, the lift on the ban means that consumers can confidently buy their products again. Even when the ban was in place, Honor did reassure that the phones would get updates and security patches and the Honor 20 is expected to get Android Q sometime very soon. The Honor 20 has a quad camera setup at the back that comprises of a 48 megapixel half inch Sony Amex 586 sensor with f1.8 aperture, a 16 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide angle camera, 2 megapixel f2.4 macro camera and a 2 megapixel f2.4 depth sensor. At the front, the camera cutout belongs to a 32 megapixel f2 camera. Camera quality seems promising but the processing seems to be a bit aggressive. We'll update on that front during our camera review. The most surprising aspect of the Honor 20 is definitely its battery life. It comes with a 3750mAh battery which considering its flagship level CPU and large IPS panel seems to be low on paper. But I was able to get around 7 plus hours of screen on time and close to an hour of talk time every day before it reached 15%. That means that the Honor 20 is an 8 plus hour SOT phone that will last most folks a full day of heavy use. The 225 watt charging gets you from 15% to 100% in 1 hour and 20 minutes as well. The Honor 20 is a great phone when it comes to performance, battery life and design but is let down by the display which could have been better. Cameras seem good as well but we'll give a final verdict on that during our camera review. Thanks for watching this video, please do hit the subscribe button if you liked it. See you again in the next one.